Hey, what's up guys? Jake with Legacy 4x4 here again, and today we're just doing a quick little fun project that actually doesn't really have much to do with 4x4 or Jeeps at all, but it's something fun that I wanted to make. So today we're gonna be making a fire pit that's gonna have some collegiate designs cut into the side of it for my backyard for my wife and I to enjoy. It's just a fun little plasma cutter project. It's my first big thing that's not a sign that I'm gonna try to make with the plasma cutter. So stick around guys, let's see how this goes. All right, so the first step to this was pretty easy. It was just designing on the computer. Put it on a sheet cam and now it's time to go ahead and cut it out. So I've got a sheet of 14 gauge here already loaded on the table. And you can see I use weights on the other side of it in order to hold down the material as I cut. I've got the first first two things I'm going to cut out on it now. So we're going to go ahead and give those a cut, guys. see how the base goes together. So the base is notched um, on the plasma cutter before it comes out, so these two pieces slide right together, and then that flat base, base peat sits down on top of it, and that's what provides all the structure to the subframe here. Pretty simple little design, um, not too bad. It's about, this is a three foot distance from here to here from each of these points, and then it get, comes down to an 18 inch uh, base lower section. So it should be not a huge fire pit, but big enough for what it needs to do. So we're going to go ahead and tack weld this thing together and then we're going to cut out the designs on the four blank sides. Alright. So this is the fire pit without any designs cut into it and just mocked up. This is where the sides of it go. I'm gonna cut a design into each of the four sides for this one. There's this little base panel down here, which has little one and a half inch drain holes, four of them. Those will allow water to seep out of this when it's sitting in the backyard. All right, there are all the signs. I got two Athena helmets, a Go Army, and a Beat Navy. Now I'm just going to take a flap disc to them, get all the dross off, clean them up, and then I'm gonna prep them to weld onto the fire pit itself. Let's get to that. All right, so the project's finished. We're in my backyard now, and I'll give you guys a quick shot of what this looks like. I did already burn a small log in here. I just wanted to make sure that everything was fine and it didn't like warp or anything like that. So there is some remnants of that log in there, but you can see what the whole finished project looks like. So it's cut so that you can see the Go Army or the Beat Navy from the sides of it. And then you can see Athena's helmet from over here. So if you don't know, Matt and I are both West Point graduates. Um, obviously rival is Navy. And so that's what this is for. And so I made this fit to be a kind of like Go Army, Beat Navy sort of theme fire pit. I'll be completely honest, it's not absolutely perfect. Um, I'm gonna redesign it so that it sits up about six inches higher, I think, um, in this kind of general area. And so that the sides 
that way you can get a, a more upfront face to the sides as you look at it. I am very happy with how this turned out as my first time trying to make a fire pit. All right, I hope you guys liked that. It was a nice, short, fun little video. I'm waiting on parts for the Jeepster, so this is a cool little project just to knock out. And just have something nice for my wife and I to enjoy in the backyard. Let me know if you guys like videos like this. I'll do more of them on random little stuff that's not just Jeeps and 4x4s. But all right, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and take care. Thank <laughs> you.